Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this open base circuit and here we have been asked to find the output voltage of the given circuit. And here we have been also given that the given op is the ideal op -amp. So if you closely observe the circuit, then it can be redrawn like this. So here this resistor is the feedback resistor between the output and the inverting terminal while this 100 ohm resistor is the resistor between the inverting terminal and the input voltage. Likewise, this 100 ohm resistor is the resistor between the non-inverting terminal and the input voltage. And likewise, this 100 ohm resistor is the resistor between this non-inverting terminal and the ground terminal. So in this circuit, if you see, then this 4 volt voltage source is shared between these two resistors. So equivalently, the same circuit can be drawn like this. So basically, the given circuit is the difference amplifier. And now, we can easily find the output voltage. So here, to find the output voltage, we have a two options. In the first option, what we can do? We can apply the principle of the superposition theorem. So in this superposition theorem, what we can do? We can consider only one voltage source at a time. And we will consider the second voltage source as a zero. And in this condition, we will find the output voltage. Let's say, that is equal to VO1. Similarly, at the second time, we will consider only the second voltage source at a time and we will consider this first voltage source as a zero. And in this condition, once again, we will find the output voltage. Let's say that is equal to VO2. So the summation of this VO1 and the VO2 will represent the overall output voltage. So this is one way of finding the output voltage. So apart from that, even using the nodal analysis also, we can easily find the output voltage. So in this video, we will use the second approach. And using the nodal analysis, we will find the output voltage of this given circuit. So for that, let's say the voltage at this node is equal to Vx. Now here, since the op is operating with the negative feedback, so we can say that it is operating in the linear region. And therefore, here we can apply the concept of the virtual ground. That means here, this V minus is equal to V plus. That means here, this V plus is also equal to Vx. That means at this node also, the voltage will be equal to Vx. So now, let us apply the KCL at this node and let us find the value of this voltage Vx. So if we apply the KCL at this node, then we can write this Vx divided by 100 ohm, that is this current, that is equal to 4 minus Vx divided by 100 ohm that is this incoming current. And here, since the op is the ideal op so no current is flowing into the op terminal. So from this we can say that this Vx is equal to this 4 minus Vx. Or we can say that this Vx is equal to 2 volt. That means here, the voltage at this node is equal to 2 volt. So similarly, now let us apply the KCL at this inverting node and let us find the value of this output voltage. So if we apply the KCL at this inverting node, then we can say that this 4 minus 2 volt divided by 100 ohm, that is this current, is equal to Vx minus V out divided by 99 ohm, that is this outgoing current. And here, this Vx is equal to 2 volt. So further we can write it as this 2 divided by 100, that is equal to 2 minus V out divided by 99. Or from this we can say that this 0 0.02 times 99 that is equal to 2 minus V out. Or from this we can say that this V out is equal to 2 minus 1.98 that is equal to 0 0.02 volt or that is equal to 20 millivolt. So from this we can say that for the given circuit this output voltage V out is equal to 20 millivolt. And therefore for the given question the answer is equal to 20 millivolt or that is equal to 0.02 volt.